The death toll continues to rise in Israel and the Gaza Strip. More than 1,900 people have been killed on both sides so far. Israel says the terrorist group Hamas and others in Gaza are holding about 150 soldiers and civilians hostage, and the violence is expected to escalate. In the meantime, an Alabama couple with ties to the Gulf Coast have made it out of the war zone safely. WKRG News 5's Whitney Leibold spoke with them today about their journey to safety. We just got random missiles, I guess. I don't know, but uh, all of a sudden you'd be sitting there talking and then you hear the sirens going off, you have to run to the shelter. That happened a couple times yesterday. Jean and Jamie Pohl are now out of Israel and out of harm's way after being trapped in a war zone for three days. So this took about eight, possibly nine hours today because of so many people <laughs> trying to leave Israel at the same time. Jean says the closer they got to the border with Jordan, the more hectic the journey became. There were probably 15 buses in front of us, and this was like at nine in the morning. There were like 15 buses in front of us. We were in a little van, just a little van, and, uh, and th those buses were packed. And so we sat and sat and sat and sat and sat. And then we decided if we got out of our little van and just kind of motored them up to the front, of, maybe we could walk through. Well, that was a disaster. And it was hot. It was tough. And uh, eventually, after a lot of haggling and whatever, we did get through. Now that the poles are out of danger and in Jordan, they're thankful they're finally able to relax. We had a, we're in a hotel, uh, and it's nice. Uh, Nice dinner, nice bottle of wine, and we'll get up tomorrow when we get up and hopefully fly to the United States. The Poles have a flight booked for Wednesday night out of Amman International Airport. They're expected to land in Birmingham Thursday night, and they say the first thing they'll be doing is hugging their kids and their family members. Reporting in Baldwin County, Whitney Leibel, WKRG News 5.